taking agriculture to new heights. Vertical farming involves growing plants on different levels in tall buildings. There is running water and sunlight enters through glass windows. There are also LED lights for plants that don't receive direct sunlight at some points of the day. Workers in vertical farms have control over the temperature and humidity. So it doesn't matter what the weather's like outside, the plants can continue growing. Vertical farming began in 1999 at Columbia University in New York City. Dixon Despommier, an ecology professor, was the first to come up with the idea of raising crops in tall buildings. Today, vertical farming is a reality and it's growing in popularity. By 2050, the population of the world will have risen by 3 billion, so we will need lots of extra food. Cutting down forests to grow crops would destroy the environment, so vertical farms could be a solution. Vertical farms allow farmers to grow crops all year round. They are also never affected by extreme weather like floods and droughts. Most vertical farms use renewable technology, such as solar power, making them both profitable and eco-friendly. Today, there are a small number of vertical farms around the world. In 2012, the world's first commercial farm opened in Singapore. Right now, it has over 109 meter tall towers, and they plan to make 2,000. All in all, it's clear that the sky's the limit for vertical farming. <laughs>